Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. We're gonna have a bedroom scene. <laughs> Are you ready? I like this scene. This is hard work. Yeah. Being yourself and doing the things you normally do. We've never had more people in our house at one time. They're all I, outside right now. I, I think we've never had more people in the bedroom. Yeah, that was a little weird. And I didn't realize they were there. I was like reading the news. I know, I knew. I like, oh, there are people here. Wicked, of course, is freaking out. Yeah. I'm recording them about to record me in this documentary. And there's Diana. Hail, hail, the gang's all here. Not really. You know, some people ask me what I do out here, and sometimes all I do is stare. Although, not directly into the sun because that's bad. You can actually lose your sight for doing that. I'm grabbing a quick snack before we go get coffee. Ow. Hey, Matthew, don't fake eat my muffin thing. No, it's an English muffin, egg, and sausage. The house up here, we're falling behind you. Just try this twice. You need what? We're gonna try this twice. Would you be able to say anything as you're you're like, dude, it's time to get some coffee or <laughs> yeah, I'd say that all the time. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna follow you from behind. Okay. And you're walking out, so open the door behind. Do you like wireless time? Yeah. Stop! It's coffee time! <laughs> Let's go. Did I remember my keys? I guess I did. We'll want to turn left at the light. Turn left at the light, Todd. Down the hill, left at the light, okay? <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> following a minivan full of geeks who are recording me with a much, much nicer camera than I have. <laughs> He's the director. <laughs> He's an awesome director too, by the way. You should follow him. Elliot Rausch. He's done so many award-winning videos on Vimeo, it's not even funny. And many of them aren't funny. I mean, that's not a bad thing, it's, that's a good thing. It's so nice out, look at this, I've got my window open. I'm a little worried that it's gonna do something to my hair, but eh, what are you gonna do? I never really had a problem with wind in my hair. Bugs in my hair, yes, but wind, no. Now, I mean, not that I have bugs in my hair or anything, just, you know, when you stick your head out the window, bugs fly into your hair, and it's a mess. Yep. I'm being bugged. Maybe someone will be interested at some point in the future to know what this day was like in Chris Perillo's life. And I will be able to share this video with them. Actually, two videos will be shared with them. This is normal. What, you guys don't have a camera crew following you around? I'm happy to be a part of this documentary. And it's not just about the mundane things that I do. It's really about how technology has enabled me to do the mundane things that I do. And the greater part of that story is anybody could do this, anybody. And technology makes that possible. I could not do business without technology. I would have nothing to talk about, of course, but you don't have to necessarily talk about technology to know that technology can be used to help you live your life. And that's the thing, you wanna live your life, not just make a living. It's a euphemism for get the bills paid. So if you can get the bills paid and be yourself at the same time, who wouldn't wanna do that? Are you guys sick of the cameras yet? Good, because we have now one going, two, three, four cameras, all eyes on me. <clears throat>
And action. I think what we'll do is we'll do that for the... Uh, that's perfect. <laughs> may make you nervous. I have no clue. So <laughs> He's a little uncomfortable in front of the camera. This is true. The work day is just begun, and now that I'm partially caffeinated, not hydrogenated, I'm ready to start, or start here. Continue the work, because I was doing most of the work on the road. You like my elbow? Yeah, it's a good elbow. Been uh, putting cream on it lately. You should try that. It's masculine. Looks what it is. Good. There are people everywhere. <laughs> and it's actually Wicket, like the Ewok, not Wicked, like the musical. Uh, popular. See, I've, I've seen Wicked, but it's not Wicked the dog, it's Wicket the dog. FYI. I let the dogs out, they've been in their cage all day. They're feeling much more free now. Whew. Just trying to find Diana. I don't know where she went. She gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, she's upstairs? Okay, cool. I was just gonna check in. Thank you. Baby? Yeah. Oh, hey. You're just in time. Just in time for what? Oh, did you, did you get everything? I was trying to figure this out. <laughs> I was like, what's my way? Oh, yeah, yeah, the connect. Oh, okay. You got it figured out? Are you grabbing something? Sorry it's so chilly up here. Um, well, it's because it gets really hot in there. We have, like, yeah. everybody and their grandmother. I know. Um, are you on... Can you watch Netflix on here? Uh, yeah. You can. You afraid you're going to be in the shot? You mean no, the shot I just I brought you in? I glasses on top. <laughs> you don't have your glasses on? Is that like part of your... No. Where are you going right now? I'm going to the park. Just You just felt like going to the park? Well, you know, I just wanted to... Because the leaves are changing colors. And I want to, like, capture some shots. And I thought it'd be kind of nice having the documentary. It's not that far out of the question. Oh. Diana's coming with. They asked Diana, they're like, do you know, have an idea? And she's like, I really haven't been here very long. And Chris and I don't really go outside. <laughs> <laughs> she's been here long enough. But she's like... We don't really go outside. That, that's true. We don't go out. When we do, it's an event. This Bobby. is an event. I just feel that we make connections with other people when we do the vlogs. So it's because of our internet connection that we can make a social connection. Even telling me happy birthday means a lot to me. Yeah. Because I don't know them, but they but know you, us. But then even when we don't know them necessarily the more we know them because they know us yeah. we get to know them more like you you could probably think of different people in our community just because of them interacting with oh, us oh yeah and i know their names yeah like their real names yeah. not just their usernames and things about them i feel that i'm friends with some of the people i watch on youtube I'm they don't know i exist <laughs> but <laughs> so wait how can you have a friendship if they don't know you exist it's like a one-way friendship that's like stalker hun because we have so much in common that I just yeah. feel like we're friends, and they talk to me. <laughs> I know they talk to everyone, but in that moment, I feel like they're talking to me. I don't think it's like a social disorder. In fact, I think it's now normal to have more friends online than offline. We should start making fun of people who have real friends. <laughs> Quote, unquote, real friends. Yeah. I wonder if those are mallards from Ballard. They're so cute. Oh, they're a brown one like me. Look, he's doing the duck paddle. It'd be a little weird if he was doing a doggy paddle. That'd be awkward. Oh, it's a seagull. <laughs> okay, this time do it with more feeling. Act natural. <laughs> and then going ahead and uh, guys posing together when once you're ready now for a shot together. Silence. They've all gone home for the day. They'll be back tomorrow. 
Thanks again for sharing, for commenting, and liking our videos.